Thanks for checking out this book review video. Uh, like promised, this is another Josh, Josh Mallerman one because I did the Bird Box one on the last one, which if you didn't see that, check it out. People should read that book for sure. Uh, so this one is the second book I read by him, Black Mad Wheel. Uh, it is 200 and... Oh, I got to check real quick. I literally just looked before I started doing this video. I already forgot. 287 pages yes so it's not crazy it's not crazy it's it's within control after this the books that i have of his have increased by at least by about 100 pages so he's starting to put out more uh content in these books which is fine with me because i like it um so this one is a little bit of a miss actually it's more than a little bit of a miss i didn't really like this book to be honest uh it wasn't huge now, the writing style is not a problem. Josh Mallerman, like I said in the Bird Box review, does a really good job in how he writes. He's very good about giving you just enough detail about things, giving you the story, the characters, the dialogue, with, without giving leading you too much and allowing you to kind of create some stuff in your mind, which is very powerful. Um, the problem for me with this book is the base story. I don't personally like the base story. And I just don't know how that's going to play out for other people. It may be the same. Maybe some people are going to read this and be like, I love this story. It is unique. It is definitely unique. So where he did something uh, with characters that had um, that weren't using their vision in the last one, this one had to do with an auditory problem. So Black Mad Wheel is basically about a band from Detroit, which Josh Mallerman actually is was in a band i forget what the name of him i haven't heard the music but he either was or is in a band so he has that experience so he writes from a um music writing background so he knows about what he's writing about in this book so it's basically about a band from detroit who they used to be in the military and they know about sound design uh and they have that military experience so they get contacted by the army and they're kind of like look there's this weird noise that is doing things to people out in the desert i think it was in africa somewhere and we need you guys to come and go on this expedition and figure out what what is this noise um how do we neutralize it basically and where is it coming from what's the origin what's the purpose of this so it's all about that so early on i think it starts kind of slow to be honest and so I was a little thrown out of the story for that reason initially. But then it picks up a little bit because there's that whole aspect of like once they're contacted by the army and you're like, okay, here we're starting to get into it. We're starting to get interesting. And then they're they're on their expedition and they're trying to figure things out. You're just kind of like, okay, okay, where are we going? It's that whole sense of adventure and mystery. And I think he does a good job of writing to that. It's just the story that was there didn't work for me. And when they finally get to what it is, I was really, I kind of just shrugged and I was just like, that's what, a, like, that's what, that's what we're doing. Okay. I don't really, you know, it just, it didn't have impact to me. It really didn't. It's a little confusing too with what's going on. So maybe there's part of that going on where someone needs to reach out to me. Maybe Josh Mallerman sees this and he needs to reach out to me and say, Hey, actually, I think you missed the point. And I think you missed what the overall story is because I don't know, maybe that's the, the maybe that's it. But I didn't receive the story well. I really didn't. I uh, didn't care for it at all. Um, so yeah, I read it and I was kind of like, man, this is such a letdown because Bird Box was so good. It was so good. Uh, so yeah, but um, yeah, just not a big fan of this one. So if the story sounds interesting to you guys, maybe you'll like it. Check that out. But my personal thing is, I don't recommend this book. Um, unless you are really into reading Josh Mallerman, which I am. So honestly, I'm trying to read kind of all of his stuff now because I really dig what this guy's been doing. Um, I dig his writing style and I want to support him. So even if I would, you know, if I weren't me and I saw this, but I was big into Josh Mallerman, I would still get this book and read it to support him and just kind of be like, I've read all his stuff, you know? So I will tell you, okay, it was, a, it was a very good review on Bird Box. It's not so good a review on Black Mad Wheel. But I will tell you, at the moment when I'm recording this, um, I am reading his book, Unbury Carol, and I am really enjoying that book. And I am, at this point, like 100 pages away from finishing it. So I don't think it's really going to change much on how much I like that book. So that one, when I 
eventually get it done and have time. I will do a review for that one as well. And then I'm going to be moving on to, maybe not immediately, but at some point, his book Inspection, which just came out when I'm recording this about a month ago, month and a half, somewhere between a month and two months ago, let's just say. And I'm excited for that. His concepts, his story concepts are always really original and interesting. And I think that's one of the big things about him right now. They write about him a decent amount in Rue Morgue magazine, which I love. Uh, check out that video about Rue Morgue if you haven't seen it. Um, but they write about him a lot because to me, he seems like kind of the new uh, awesome fresh face of horror writing. And um, yeah, I'm just digging how unique he is and what he's doing. I, it's very unique and for that reason even if he puts out more books that I don't connect with and really like that much like Black Mad Wheel I'll still get them and read them I'm, a, I'm on I'm on the Mallerman train I'm on the bus I'm, I'm on for the ride let's go Josh take me there let's go anyway thank you everyone for checking this video out uh, please hit that subscribe it can mean a lot for me I'm trying to grow the channel so that I can justify to myself putting in the time that I am with doing these reviews and everything also if you have ideas you know if, if you say you know i'd love for you to review this i'd love for you to review that uh or even things i'm already doing but like a specific of it like a particular movie you want me to review or do analysis of or a particular book you want me to review or toys or like i don't know anything just throw it out there uh put it down in the comments we can also talk about what you've been reading that's always cool but please hit that subscribe. It literally takes you like a second and it's painless. And it can mean a lot to me in the long run. Um, thumbs up are also cool too. It doesn't really mean that much. But it's cool to see it when people are just like, yeah, I like that. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.